What's up guys, Purple X Ross here bringing that video on today's video as you can tell by the title and obviously by the video as you can see right now uh, the video is going to be called How the Universe is Way Bigger Than You Think and yes guys shout out to um, the real life law if you want to check them out I think they're a team or whatnot but if you want to check the channel out feel free um, I'll be posting videos like this um, from now on or maybe you know obviously I will be putting out more gameplay videos also but reaction videos like this, you know, scientific ones or any that you like, guys. But I just felt like, you know, I wanted to watch this video with you guys. So put your uh, put a comment down below what you guys would want to see next. If you want to see any more reactions, like, you know, five impossible things that can happen on other planets, you know, anything like that, guys. Or funny moments, I guess, or funny things and try not to laugh, which I used to do. So, yeah, um, let's get right into this video, guys, and uh, let's react. Shout out to these guys though, shout out. This is a real life lore video. A possible <coughs> Squarespace, shout out to Squarespace. <laughs> shout out to them. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Don't know. Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our new That's about right. <laughs> That's true. But in reality, the moon isn't this close to it's, yeah. It's actually about <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's mad, isn't it? 30 Earths. That is mad. <laughs> oh, damn. 160 days. I mean, that's not bad, though, but it's like... Mm. At least it's not years. Or oh, maybe it's... Yep, it was. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with mm -hmm. them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message. Sorry, guys. Let me just uh, turn off my notifications. Is my thing off? Oh, it is. Okay. Never mind. Let's continue. That's quick. Oh, damn. Oh my! Oh my God, bro! Jesus! It's gonna take longer. Mm. Oh damn! Yeah, 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 I know. You pretty much fucked. the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. AU meaning astronomical distance, which is the distance between the Earth and I'm no clue. means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the sun. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like no You're right there. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Damn. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. It's it's becoming um it's becoming a little uh, emotional uh, montage here about the the earth. <laughs> Every hopeful child, every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every Lufa. teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme. Oh, this is mad, isn't it? Every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived <laughs> there on a mote of dust suspended in. Yeah. 
Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single um. second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30 Oh my god, bro. Once we go beyond the solar system, well, I won't be live that long. Interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year. By the way, guys, I know you can't see what it says uh, up here. It, the, it only says distance uh, light years, so that's it, really. I know my uh, camera's a bit big. I apologize for these uh, these videos, guys. Let me know if you would want me to change the camera like size and whatnot, so you can see a lot more of the screen. I'm sure you can see pretty much a lot of it. Um, that pointing there is just pointing at like something else, a different uh, star or whatnot. So um, yeah, let's continue. Or galaxy. I'm already good at the science shit. I'm telling. The light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.20 oh, light years that's away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of now the ask universe is. That is crazy. Six times longer than the age of the universe if it was the speed the same as the moon going that. Uh, that's just mad, bro. Could you imagine if someone actually did that? Like, generation, generation's gone, and then they finally get to this this star. Like, it's mad. Get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when oh, you well. arrive. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way Never mind. galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the first extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside yeah. this range are totally unaware of humanity. Sorry guys, once again, but, um, do you think there's aliens out there? Of course people are gonna think there's aliens out there, but do you believe in a couple of years' time, maybe hopefully in our lifetime, that we'll be able to get to see something out of, you know, different, you know, universe or whatnot let me know guys let me know what you think i think we could i think we can get someone you know to come to our, our planet but um or in our galaxy or whatnot or whatever's coming on so but yeah let's continue with the video complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware but the entire galaxy spans over one thousand oh. light years from end to end there are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy no. at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small... By the way, guys, it does uh, cut a little bit there. That's only because I've... Um, when you see at the start of my videos, when you see my, all my tabs in the bottom, that's why I just hide them, because uh, I am a, pro a private boy. <laughs> Cringe. <coughs> but even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further, wow. we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years. That we know of. But zooming out even further, and we can see the Virgo supercluster. Look at all those. The local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local Each dot is one galaxy. Oh my god. One side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. Nah, it's crazy. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster. An enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 500 you million know. light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the that's us there, like, that's how small we are. <laughs> oh, galaxies are small. Just a tiny and insignificant Fuck you know. Everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion <laughs> different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Fuck, you know. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion years. I just don't understand how they can find this shit out. Like, obviously, about our galaxies and whatnot, and how they know how many... I know it's probably going to be foul, there's loads and loads of galaxies out there, but like, you get what I mean, like how can they, it's, it's just crazy man, I'm blown, I'm blown. Which means that the entire width is 93 billion.
That's smart. How we can. What's perhaps even more interesting, yeah. however, <laughs> what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Yeah. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can <laughs> see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can Plus, possibly My My brain's fried, man. We simply don't know what else. That's what I mean. If you think it could be any mythological, like, creature or whatnot. <sighs> soon, boys, soon. The light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time nope. in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means oh, okay. the light from these places will never in an infinite amount of time well, that's a shame. reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever My. see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire Tiny universe. slice. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, nice it name. is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption <coughs> that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 Whoa. billion times larger than I'll get demonetized now and whatnot. <laughs> get the video banned. Universe. That number for reference looks like this. Fucking hell. Mats, boys, mats. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the Fuck. center of Pluto. But He's basically explaining like how that that is just our universe. Like imagine that universe is our light bulb, and obviously if you go like that, basically takes out those Pluto, and. With us that small little part there, our galaxy, our universe, all in one bit there, the tiny spot of that light bulb. And everything else could be something that we don't, we'll never know about, like, you know what I mean? But that's how big, we, we don't know. <sighs> totally unaware that Pluto existed yeah. outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover True. together. But not our lifetimes. <laughs> not my lifetime, at least. This video was made all right. by Squarespace. Squarespace, thank you guys. Thank you, whoever made the video. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed your video. If you did, make sure you smash out that like button, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. So, um, if we can get around both for at least three to four likes in this uh this video that'll be much appreciated but yeah guys um let me know what you want to see next i'm uh, very interested in what you guys would want to comment down below and what you would uh would want me to watch next but yeah guys um it's been your boy purple x ross and uh, i'm signing out peace